Awam, all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekako Dash, you know what time it is. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay? And uh, I'm going to say Shalom to all the Akim, to all the brothers, you know, keep doing the work. It really, that's what this video is going to be. Uh, I was just trying to think of what I was going to talk about. I was reading some scriptures, and this scripture hit me. I was reading John, the sixth chapter. So, yeah, this would just be some words of encouragement right here. If, if y'all ever read John the 6th chapter, I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to start at the 60, I think. I'm going to start at the 61st verse. Because if you read this chapter, the Lord, he sits and he tells you how he is the bread of life. Because he's the bread of, if, if you eat this bread, this bread that the Lord is feeding you, you know, you ain't never going hungry again. This is going to fulfill your soul. You know, a lot of you get some fast food or whatever. You eat that garbage food. You know, you don't eat 10 tacos from Taco Bell or, you know, two double cheeseburgers or something. You're not even full because they don't have no nutritional value in it. You know, you got to eat some real food. But this food right here has is, is got that nutritional value for your soul and your spirit. But this is that bread of life that you need to be eating. Okay, like the Lord said, it, uh, was that Romans the 10th chapter? Say, whoever called upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay, having a faith in the Lord, him showing you, the Lord himself showing you the truth. You know what I'm saying? You opening your eyes up to the truth. Where he said he's the door. Okay, you knocking on the door. He answered it. Right? Then he showed you, you've got this truth, man. That's that bread of life right there. But uh, I wanted to read, because he, he told him, you know, about the bread. I'm, I'm starting right here, actually, 58. John 6 and 58. That this is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eat of, of this bread shall live forever. Oh, and he told that woman at the well in John the fourth chapter a similar thing. He told her, whoever drinks of this water shall never thirst again. Okay, it's the same concept. Okay, you're never going to thirst again because the Lord, he's going to fulfill your soul and your spirit with his truth and with his Holy Spirit. Okay, the Lord going to put his spirit on you. That's why you can see people who don't have no kind of truth. Okay, and they have no order about themselves. You can say they, they really live a miserable lives or a lost. They walk around lost, walking around in darkness. You know, that's, a, that's an awful feeling to be in darkness. That's a terrible, awful, disgusting feeling to be in darkness and to have no knowledge and to have no wisdom and to have no purpose. Okay, that's a, that's a way. Hey, look, I'm back on YouTube. I'm doing uh, personal videos. We did street T. I I don't have a... Uh, <laughs> I don't have a sit down channel, right? You know, where I do the little phone, my personal videos. I have to get a whole new phone. YouTube blocked my other number. So I'm putting them on this site. But I was watching what I was saying. I was about to start cussing, boy. I was like, oh, I got to watch it. I'm going to try to, I'm, I can't get the channel deleted. Okay, look. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat man and are dead. He that eateth, eateth of this bread shall live forever. So you're supposed to take this bread that we're giving you right now take it and eat okay these things said he you gotta eat the whole roll you can't just eat the parts you don't like either you know you, you gotta eat the whole roll you gotta finish the whole plate you know just like when your mom made you supper you know when you just picking at it like i don't like that no you gotta eat it okay eat it then when they eat your greens you know this is good for you. You got to eat the whole roll. It's good for you. Don't just eat the parts that you like, okay? And discard the parts that you don't agree with. You got to eat the whole roll. These things he taught the synagogue as he taught Capernaum. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? When Yahawashai knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? Where was he at before? He said he's going to ascend up to where he was before. And he did that in Acts the first chapter. In Acts the first chapter, it tells you the Lord, he was received by a cloud. And we know that to be a chariot. That's a chariot of the Lord. Okay, they call them so-called UFOs. Been all kind of sightings lately. I seen a brother posted a video today. Some chariot sightings. And that's how the Lord's coming back. So he's gonna, he, that's, he's gonna come back the same way he left. And look, he, this was actually a prophecy, because he prophesied that he was gonna do this before it happened. Because this prophecy right here was fulfilled in Acts the first chapter. Once again, look, 
John 6 and 6, John 6 and 62. What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. Yeah, the flesh ain't profited nothing. Like yesterday, we was out teaching. And we was in this spot down by the river. And a lot of people just kept by coming by taking selfies, posing. You know, women, they think they're so beautiful. They're taking a selfie in the sunset. You know, just trying to get the perfect picture. They're putting the filters on it, making themselves look perfect. They hell with this flesh. Ain't nothing about you perfect. Ain't nothing about this flesh perfect. Okay? The flesh profited nothing. Okay? The flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, so these words right here is life, man. This is true eternal life. Right here is his word. This is life. This is going to breathe life into your lungs. Okay? It's going to turn you to a new creature. Ha! Huh. The Lord going to breathe that breath into you. You're going to become a new creature. He's going to breathe that breath of life into you. Oh, that's just like an Ezekiel. Fucking loud shit. Huh. Just like... Just like in Ezekiel, the Valley of the Dry Bones. You know, you got a lot... We in the Valley... The Valley of the Dry Bones is America. Well, the rest of the world, wherever Israel scattered, is the Valley of Dry Bones. And our people, they're like... They're like, you know... They're corpses. They're dead. They're zombies. You know, but the Lord, you know, some of y'all, he's going to breathe life into y'all. He's going to resurrect you from the dead. He's going to bring you to life. Because, you know, right now I'm walking around alive in this world. The rest of these people who don't know the truth, they're the walking dead. And you can see it in their eyes. They're dead. They're not here. They're like NPCs. Okay? And nobody home. But there's some of you. Uh, yeah. But there are some of you that believe not. Yet there's some of y'all that believe not. You got people who's in the faith that, you know, claiming like they believe they don't really believe. I don't know what y'all think you cool or something. You're just doing it for social activities. I mean, what's the deal? But there are some of you that believe not. For Yahawashai knew from the beginning who they were that believe not and who should betray him. So the Lord already got y'all's number. You ain't fooling nobody. And really, a lot of y'all, <laughs> y'all false flaggers. Did they still say that term? You, you, uh, what's the other word? Uh, you impersonators. What's that? That's not even the right word. You charlatans. You got a lot of charlatans. I don't even know what word I'm looking for. Imposters. Yeah, you got imposters. That's what I'm thinking. Are you a bunch of imposters out there claiming that you're the great Israelite teacher? You know, when deep in your heart, you don't even believe. But the Lord got you, man. He did already know. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except that were given to him by my father. Right, so ultimately, at the end of the day, the only way you can see this truth is if the Heavenly Father himself opens up your eyes. Okay? It has to be given unto you from the Most High himself. So, like, say say you can't, like, you got people like Vocab Malone. He doesn't believe in, to, in the Israelite thing. He thinks all nations can be saved and this and that. Well, that's because the Most High blinded him. He never opened his eyes up. It's just the way it is. It's just accepted. Okay, because the truth's not for everybody. It, not everybody's going. It could be something that's so simple, like you can read Matthew, fifteen twenty four, and there's a bunch of other scriptures. He says, "I only came for the Israelites." The Lord said, "He only came for the Israelites," and it's so simple. It's written so plain. The Lord has twelve disciples. It means He only came for Israel. The twelve disciples represents Israel, obviously. Okay, but it's so plain. It's so simple, but people still can't see it. That's because the Most High blinded him. He didn't open it. He didn't give him the truth. So the only people that's going to understand this is the ones who the Most High uh, open their eyes. You know what I mean? It's not for it. This truth ain't for everybody. And there is a simplicity in you, Yahweh Shai, because really this truth is simple. It's easy to understand. It's not a hard thing to understand, but people still can't get it. They still can't get it. That proves the Most High is in total control. That's what that proves. And he said, therefore, uh, 65, and he said, therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of disciples went back and walked no more with him. So you had a lot of people falling out the truth. You had people falling, this ain't, people falling out the truth ain't nothing new. You had people falling out the truth. When they, when the Lord was alive walking around the, on the earth with him, and they still fell out and stopped walking with him. Okay. They couldn't handle it.
because really they didn't even believe. Then Yahweh uh, excuse me, then said Yahweh unto the twelve, to the twelve, which represents Israel, the twelve disciples. Then said Yahweh unto the twelve, will ye also go away? Now, now listen, he said this to the twelve. These are my, these are my boys right here. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. So Simon Peter, that's why he was the head disciple. That right t tells you why the Most High, the Heavenly Father, chose him to be the head disciple. Look at that spirit right there. Well, that's a strong spirit. Okay, he was with him to the death. You know, he was, he was following, you know, he was, he was, he knew, that's faith right there, man. That's, this is faith right here. And that's why he called him Simon Peter. Because, you know, Peter means a rock. Okay, like Petra Jordan, that means rock. You know, Peter, that's why you take care of Oh, I got to watch my language. I'm going to get deleted, man. See, that's why I keep deleting my channel. You know, I can't help the words just be flowing, you know. But it's, because <laughs> Peter's a rock, you know, like an anchor, a rock. That's something solid. He's going to hold you down. And Peter going to hold you down. Look, the Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. So yeah, I wish I got the words of eternal life. That's why I'm telling y'all brothers, you know. I mean, if you fall out the truth, where the hell else are you going to go? This is, we got eternal life right here. Why would you leave it? Why would you stop doing this? Why would you stop teaching? Okay, why would you stop believing? That's retarded. Obviously, it's retarded. Okay, this, you know, the only joy I really get in life is from this right here. From the Spirit of the Lord. Especially when we start teaching, brothers get together and they start talking about the Lord. You know, his spirit enters the room. You know what I mean? You can feel the spirit. You can feel that joyous, that joyous, triumphant spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's an amazing thing right there. And, it, and man, that's the only good thing in this world is the word of the Lord. This is the only pure thing. Just like, what was that, Proverbs 30? It says, every word of the Lord is pure. This is purity. In a world of defilement, you know, this word, this whole, everything about this world is defilement from the women to the music, to the culture, to the food. Everything is defiled. It's an abomination. This is the only thing pure in a world of filth is, is this truth right, this word. Okay, then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe, and we believe and are sure that thou art the Messiah, the son of the living power. Yahweh Shai answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Okay, and it goes into talking about Judas Iscariot. Okay, but that's the point right there, because he already knew Judas is... He, he prophesied what Judas was going to do before Judas did it. Judas wasn't fooling nobody. Okay? The Lord was in control the whole time. Like, like what I'm saying, all y'all people out here, you claiming that you teachers, you claiming that you men of the Lord or whatever. Look, you're not fooling nobody. What is that? You can you can fool some people some of the time, but you can't fool the most high ever. <laughs> I not like try to do the George Bush thing. It's like, yeah, so you ain't fooling nobody, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially brothers been in the truth for years and years. Hey, we see through shit too, man. It's like the older I get. I, I, I don't even put up with bullshit no more. I can just see if somebody ain't about it, about it. If they're not about this life. Okay, it's not a hard thing to be about this life. But to some people, it is a hard thing to be about this life. It's a hard thing for them. Okay, because then they're not about it. They're not with it, you know? And with their heart and their soul and their spirit, it's not with it. I, I'm with it, shit. Uh, like, like Peter said, Yahweh Shai got the words of eternal life. So where else are we going to go? You know what I'm saying? With that, I'm going to say Shalom.